Well, yesterday, as I'm sure you remember, we showed you the shocking video of zombie protesters crashing a Special Olympics event hosted by Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Our next guest is here to defend the protesters. We welcome protest organizer and exec executive director of Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee, Jeremy Ryan, also with us, the Wall Street Journal's James Toronto, who has been following and writing about this story uh, for several days now. Good to see you both. Thanks for coming in. So, Jeremy, how many folks do you actually think you won over by doing what you <laughs> did the other day, by interfering with a, with a Special Olympics event? Well, first, it's important to note that we didn't interfere at all. And we actually won over the Special Olympics Wait, 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 hold on uh, a second. Jeremy, i got to stop you because that's just not true. We have video of you guys walking in between the Special Olympics. You were right in their faces, walking between them and the podium. So, of course, you interfered. We, I'm showing the video right now. No, that wasn't the athletes. The athletes were over to the side. That was just the general crowd. Jeremy, sure this, is, this was a, a special a event for hands. the Special Olympians. You interfered. We can see you face to face with them. No, it wasn't an interference. In fact, the Special Olympics spokesperson said we were respectful and that it was actually a wonderful event. We've talked to other Special Olympians who we had on who said it was a direct interference and it was, in fact, an affront to their trying to celebrate their, their Special Olympics. Well, what's, what's horrible is the fact that Scott Walker will cut funding for the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation and cut special ed programs in education. Okay, but, but and is, you, like can, you can, look, you can make Olympics that argument. Kids. That's a, that's, we that's a fine them. debate we to have. We were there have. to support them. That's a fine we debate to, to have. Them. But But the fact is, is that I think, and I think a lot of people who saw what you guys did, feel that you lost any support. You certainly didn't sway people over to your side by what you did. Well, I think it was uh, mainly neutral for anyone who actually looks. We were completely silent the whole time. Didn't say a word. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should talk to Ch uh, Police Chief Charles Tubbs because uh, he right. was very happy with how respectful we yeah, were of the Capitol Governor Police. Walker. All right, James Toronto. The fact is, is that they were they were dressed up. They had zombie makeup on. Uh, it was obviously taking attention away from the Special Olympics, which is where everybody wanted to be focused. Well, I mean, uh, look at this guy. You know, what a man standing up courageously against uh, Special Olympic athletes. I mean, this is uh, this is the future of America here. This is the young generation. I'm impressed. Jeremy, I mean, you know, that obviously is sarcastic, but it is directed at you. There's a, that's what a lot of people feel. Well, Scott Walker purposely set this event up in that location, knowing that there was a permitted protest in that location. Um, it was changed. The event location was changed right before. We didn't even know it was a Special Olympics event. We were actually, uh, you know, some of us were actually planning to be loud, and then we found out it was a Special Olympics event, and we do respect the Special Olympic athletes, and we wanted to show support. Why didn't you just Scott cancel Walker. your protest when you found out it was a Special Olympics event? Well, the event was already halfway through by the time we knew it was a Special oh. Olympics event. Okay. We right. had walked up to the you event already. That, well, let's not forget, these guys are also staying, staging die-ins where they uh, invade the offices of state representatives. Now, uh, I wrote in my column today, you know, they're the, remember these uh, those Westboro so-called Baptist Church, these ghastly people who protest military funerals? Even those guys stay a thousand feet away from the funerals and uh, and are more respectful than uh, than these kids in Wisconsin. I mean, I think it's really appalling. And uh, and uh, they, of course, they're turning the public away. away Jeremy, if them. you'd wanted to let's, uh, let's to make a message respect. on that day, couldn't have you done it in a better way, a way that would be more respectful, more respectful of the people who were there? Well, I don't feel it was disrespectful at all, and neither do most of the athletes that were there. We actually shook their hands. They were smiling. They were glad we were there. The special Olympics. What the heck organizers else are they supposed there. to do but smile? I mean, for goodness sakes, you the guys had, that were, you were dressed up there. like zombies. <laughs> the organizers that were actually yeah, I think, there. I, uh, I actually I wasn't think dressed were, up I, as a zombie, by the way. I think they were laughing at you, not with you. All right. James Toronto. Well, look, well, Jeremy, you, you're a stand-up you, guy to come here. We appreciate it. And again, when you want to debate, we can, we can debate in this kind of forum uh, the issues you want to debate about, about Wisconsin. We're for that, and we appreciate you coming. Jeremy Ryan, James Toronto.